Hey guys, so on this topic of weapon rolls, I had an idea and I wanted to explain it in a little bit more detail because I kind of wasn't too satisfied with the idea of just the um, Slayer support and anchor or backline <clears throat> because different weapons like can do different things. And so in my head, it really felt like it was um, too two scales, so it's like a two-dimensional um, thing. So the first one, the first scale I had, oh gosh, that was bad. Um, first scale, I had one end being the Slayers, and then one end being the Anchors. And really what I mean by Slayers over here is that this is, this is close range. And then the anchors are really the long range. Right, so most shooters are over here, although the jet is more so towards the back. Um, and then most snipers are here, although bamboo is more towards the middle. Right, Explo, Explosher more towards anchor, Try more towards this Slayer close range. But then there's a second. There's a second, um, a second axis, and that is you have your aggressive... And then your more support. Okay, and so really what made me think about this is the Hydra. Because the Hydra in this game is very aggressive. It gets kills very easily. It's got the Booyah Bomb. But it's traditionally thought of as this anchor. But it's an anchor that gets a lot of kills. So I place it over here, right? So here's the Hydra. Um, and then the Junior, the Splattershot Junior, that's a close-range weapon, but it plays more of a support role. So I put that down somewhere around here. That's the Junior. Okay, and then there's a whole bunch of this, right? So um, the Explo would be more of a support anchor. Um, and then, like, Blah Blobber, that's more support, but it's about mid-range. Right, so the blob would be, but it can still be aggressive, so blob is, I think, right about here. Now, where specific weapons go, that's definitely something that I feel is up for the debate that we can discuss. Um, and even this method, right, because um, there's, there's yet another way that you can talk about this, and that would be, like, how good is a weapon at pushing objective, right? And so, like, in tower control, there are some weapons where it's like, yeah, you want to be on the tower, right? Like, generally, like, if you're a roller or, like, chargers can ride the tower, um, while shooters, while they can ride the tower, generally... Um, it's maybe better if they go off, if, like, another teammate's riding the tower, so that they can go and get kills and prevent the tower from being attacked. Um, and then, like, in Rainmaker, um, there are some weapons that are much better for carrying the Rainmaker, like, like, Blob. Blob is really great for carrying Rainmaker. And there are other weapons where, like, like, um, the Anchors or something, where, um, they're not bad for carrying Rainmaker, but if they stay alive and the Rainmaker carrier dies, then they're that traditional Anchor role of being someone that you can jump to. Again, um, this, it's, it's, it's a system that I made up, um, but I kind of like it and I think it might help. Um, in terms of how we think about our roles and our weapons, and um, specifically Brian, um, I feel like you are this Slayer support area. I'm more, uh, especially in Splatoon 2, I was definitely support, but more mid-leaning towards Slayer. Now I'm doing a little bit more sincere mid-stuff, just because I'm I like playing a lot of things all over the place, personally. Um, Seth is definitely Anchor, and he's gotten more Anchor aggressive. With Brella, that's more support mid, not as close, but still a little bit more closer um, with his Tentabrella. Um, the Pro is not as close, but is more aggressive. Um, and I mean, and like, right, like the carbon, right? That's clearly a close range, aggressive slayer. Um, the junior is a close range, aggressive slayer or not the junior, the, the tri slosher. Um, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think.